Hey, what is up everybody? This is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and today I'm actually going to go over and discuss the four major uh, companies slash binderies um, that you guys can go through in the U.S. Uh, to get your custom binds done, so stay tuned. All right, so here is Heroes Rebound Studios at heroesreboundstudios.com. Uh, they are an all-in-one company, and what I mean by that is they will do everything from design to prepping your books to designing your books to printing dust jackets to just everything. They go above and beyond. They curate books. You can buy other books and they'll recreate books that they've done. So this is really truly an all-in-one company. And these are some of the things that you can buy actually off their website. Uh, so like the Namor Submariner by John Byrne Custom Bind. They have that one currently up for $125. Um, Two-volume Checkmate, two-volume of the Wally West Flash. And then they also do a cool thing where if you actually go into their collections, you can actually uh, order... I don't want to say custom because they're already designed. They're already books that they've already designed in the past, but books that they will recreate. So books that they have done and they will actually go and recreate for you. Um, if you give them, you know, 80 bucks, 90 bucks, whatever it is in 68 weeks to, to recreate that. Um, while I think that's awesome and I'm definitely going to take advantage on a couple of these books because I just love the designs of them. I think they did a really great job. At the same time, I just want you to know that obviously this is not going to be a one-of-a-kind custom bind. It might be like a four-of-a-kind, or a, there might only be five or six of those books out there in the world, but it's not going to be one-of-a-kind. And so for some people that are big into customs, um, because they can make them their own, and they are truly a one-of-a-kind book, nobody else is going to have that design, just know that that is not the case if you order these. Um, it is, like I said, like a four-of-a-kind, five-of-a-kind, whatever it may be, but it is not going to be a quote unquote one of a kind book. Um, but either way for, I mean, you don't have to supply the comics or anything. They do all that for you. So the fact that they do all of that stuff for you and they prep everything and they bind everything and all you do is just pay and wait. It's not a bad deal. Uh, for instance, I really love this Flintstones bind that they did. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I really like what they did for it. Uh, so for 85 bucks, give them six to eight weeks and they'll recreate this book for you and ship it to your house. Uh, which collects the entire run of the Flintstones, which was 1 through 12. And this is a book that I'm definitely going to take advantage of. I was debating on just buying the material and binding it and then having dust jackets and things made so I could really kind of make it my own. But I really do just love this design. I think it's a really great design. I'm a big fan of what they did here. So I think I might actually just spend the 85 bucks and just wait it out and wait till they send me my own. Because like I said... I do really like the design and things that they did on this. I think it's I think it looks really, really solid. They have another book in here that I also really want to take advantage of. Um, I've been reading John Byrne's She-Hulk run, uh, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I've been told that uh, Charles Soule's run is also really good. And so going through this, they designed a Charles Soule uh, custom-bound She-Hulk book. And it is gorgeous. I really, really love the design of this book. Uh, so as you can see, she's a lawyer, obviously, as we all know. And, you know, Charles Soule's book really kind of focuses, from my understanding, more on her lawyering side of things. So they really designed it to look like a law book, which I think is really awesome and it looks really good. It has the, like, manila folder in there and, and everything. And then they have the title sheet. So I just think it looks really, really good. And for 80 bucks and, you know, six to eight weeks, again, you can have this recreated and have it sent to your house. So it's a really good deal. Um, like I said, you don't have to supply any of the books or anything. You just buy it and wait. So I think that's a really cool option that they have. I'm not aware of any other uh, companies or binderies that offer that kind of service. So I do think that is pretty cool. That is something that they can offer you. Um, you can get Wonder Woman by Rucka. For a hundred bucks, I haven't looked at this one yet. Looks like they got a dust jacket on there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a graphic cover. Title page. I like the title page. That's a good title page. 
I've seen this custom bound quite a few times by various people, and a lot of times this picture right here actually ends up being the cover of the book um, for the graphic design. Yeah, it looks like that's just a dust jacket. I'm not sure what they actually did for the cover design, but... So, anyways, they have the, these different options that you can do. Once again, Animal Man, you know, New 52, Jeff Lemire's Animal Man is another gorgeous design that they did. I'm a big fan of this one. I, I really like the way it looks. For some of these prices, personally for me, I'd rather just get the material and bind it myself. But for those that don't have it, don't want to hunt it down, this is another really great option. Uh, and like I said, these designs look really nice. So this one is going to collect the very beginnings of Jamie Delano's run. So, so that's kind of one thing that they offer in the collection section that you guys can do, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, every once in a while they will have official releases in here that you guys can buy when they're on sale. So currently they have like Bendis's Daredevil volumes one and two. Uh, which is nice. They have Nancy Collins Swamp Thing, Christ on Infinite Earth. So they have a couple books in here, a little bit discounted prices um, that you guys can buy that are the official releases that they do have available. Um, and then just the different categories and things. I really like these two, these Annihilation books. Um, I know they are sold out. They did sell those. Um, I myself am not a big fan of the Annihilation event, but I really like the look of these books. I think they, they're really gorgeous, um, simple, elegant design that I really, really like. As you guys can see there, there's the War of the Kings and the, the follow-ups as well. And they had all of those priced at 650 bucks. I don't know who ultimately designed them. If they, yeah, it looks like they were the ones that designed them. Um, just really beautiful books. So, you know, for 650 bucks, I mean, they're currently sold out. They're not offering it now, but that's a hell of a deal, you know. Um, this one, I actually own this one. Um, I own, I guess you could say, the the prototype uh, um, of this book. I actually bought it from them a while back. Uh, they weren't extremely happy, I guess, with the way it initially turned out. And so I got it for, for a good price and I bought it from them actually off of Facebook. But I actually do have this book and I will show that later on as well when I kind of dig into my experiences with them personally and the books that I've gotten done by them. Uh, but I do own this one and I love it. I do, I do, I do. I absolutely love this book. I think they did a great job designing it. I really love this. I think that sets off. It's got the nice Kirby um, esque feel to it inside the inside the book cover and I think that's really great so I am very excited I actually own this book um, so you guys can own it too you guys can have the same book as me if you'd like uh, they're charging 125 for it like I said I own the I didn't get the bookmark though I wish I had the bookmark for it because that's a nice bookmark but uh no I actually got like I guess you could say like the prototype they did it once and then but I, I don't notice any issues on mine. I think it looks absolutely great, to be honest with you. I have zero issues with, with my book. So I'm not sure what they didn't like about it, but I'm a, I'm a fan. So, so that's what they offer as far as books that have already been designed. Okay. Now, if you're saying to yourself, well, I want to send in my books and I want them to do everything, and th well, that's great. They offer that as well, as I said at the beginning. So they have a few different options, and I don't know of many other places that Omaha Bound is somewhat similar to this. Um, they, they're, but they're the only other. They're the only two that I know of that'll really do this for you. Um, so they, you send in your books to them, and so option one is like sixty bucks, where it's just a very simple design. Um, you just choose the comic cover. They'll throw the comic cover up on the book, create a very simple design for the spine, and then just kind of lay it out like old school Marvel, um, on the back. And that one's 60 bucks. If you, if you go that route, okay, they'll do the binding and the prepping and everything like that for you as well. Um, they call it the all in one option where people that are maybe new to binding and don't really know how to remove staples or don't want to remove the staples or don't know how they're afraid they might ruin the book if they try to rip off the back covers or the double ads or what have you they will do all of this for you which is really nice um, Omaha Bound also offers that same deal 
Um, they will do the title sheets as well, which I really like title sheets. I actually need to get better at myself personally of designing title sheets because I think they just really kind of set off a book and make a book a lot classier. So I do like the fact that they do title sheets. So option two you can do for 65 bucks. They'll do a f unique design. You don't get a picket though. They will do the unique design and they get kind of free reign to sort of do whatever it is that they want to do and they'll create a really nice one of a kind unique book strictly just for you, um, which is what I did the very first time that I bound a book with them uh, a couple years ago. I sent in just a big trade paperback compendium. I didn't prep it or anything. I didn't know what I was doing at that time. I just sent them in the book and said, have free reign, run with it. Um, and they did. And it was it turned out nice. Um, then you have option three, which is 75 bucks. But if you go that route, you personally get to design everything. So they will do whatever it is that you design. You They'll give you the measurements. You send in the me or you design it to their the measurements that they give you. Send them the files. They'll print it out and make sure that everything looks the way that you designed it. And for that one, that is $75 and then shipping and handling. But again, they will do all of the the prep work for you. So you don't have to do any of the prep work. Okay. They do all of that for you. They'll remove the staples, the back covers, the ads, everything, all that's done for you, which is, which is nice. Um, then they'll also will do a more detailed table of contents for an extra 10 bucks where they'll really kind of go deep into, you know, and make it look real nice for you. Um, they will also do mapping and research, which is something that not, Every once again, not every company is going to offer. I believe Omaha Bound might offer something similar to that, um, but not a lot of companies are not going to offer mapping and research. That is mainly stuff that you have to do on your own and or find somebody that's already done it that's willing to be like, "Hey, here's my mapping. Have fun." Which there's a lot of people in the custom, uh, you know, in the custom world that is more than happy to do that for people, but. They will do it for an extra 20 bucks. Um, they will also do designs for DJs. They'll print DJs. Um, they'll do all sorts of that kind of stuff. And they also have a thing where if you get four or more dust jackets, if you get four or more books, if you do whatever, you get a 10% discount, which is also kind of nice of them to offer. So overall, they have a really great deal. Um, turnaround time, they say six to eight weeks. Uh, and the experience that I had where I personally sent in a book, they sent it back. I think it ran me, I want to say it was approximately three or four months uh, before I got my books back, or book back. Uh, but again, that was, you know, uh, it was probably two and a half, three years ago at this point. Um, so it's, you know, but I'm just letting everybody know that is my personal experience when I had a book bound. I've heard some similar stories from other people that said it did take a long time to get their stuff back. I've had other people say, nope, they got it back within a few weeks. So um, it might all just depend again on, on season and time of year and things like that, which you will actually hear about from a lot of these binderies. But in my personal experience, when I had a book, they designed everything. It did take a few months before I got it back. So All right, so this is omahabound.com, and omahabound.com is actually run by uh, Tim Benson and David Banks. Um, Tim used to work for Haushin Bindery. He used to actually work like in the bindery um, for Haushin directly, and then a couple years ago, he left and kind of did his own thing. So him and David actually split off, and they're doing their own thing now with Omaha Bound, and they do some really amazing, awesome author, creator, curated type stuff that is just amazing. Um, it does get expensive because it is extremely limited and it is like creator curated. So it's like that special artsy, but it, God dang, are they beautiful? Um, so uh, they offer once again, full service, just similar to heroes rebound where they will do all the prep work and things for you. Now, in my experience with dealing with Tim and David, I've actually had a lot of really pleasant experiences with them. Um, the very first bind I ever did I think they actually might even have them on their have them on their site here, um, but uh, the gallery of previous work. But uh, the first bind I ever did was actually my Spectre two volume Spectre bind, and when I did my two volume Spectre bind, um, they are actually local to me. Um, Haushin Bindery is maybe like an hour's drive away from where I live, 
and uh, David's office was actually right by my office. So at the time, I knew absolutely nothing about um, custom binding at all. And I literally just took in my books in and handed them to David. And I said, here. And he said, thanks. And he kind of ran with it. Um, again, uh, initially, you know, the, the turnaround time, I think the goal is six to eight weeks. But again, custom binding is getting very, very popular. Um, lots of people are starting to custom bind now, which is great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking. I think it's amazing. Uh, but because of that, and then they don't just do comic books. They also do, you know, college textbooks and other books and things like that. So, I mean, they, they don't just focus strictly on comic books. The turnaround time on these have been a lot longer, um, than I think what the initial goal is. So, like I said, I believe that the initial goal is usually going to be six to eight weeks. Uh, whereas for me, the, the handful of times that I've utilized them, um, I've gotten my books back anywhere between three to six months is what it's kind of taken. Um, but again, that's my personal experience. Some people have different experiences where they've gone faster. Um, some have experienced the same thing. I have, like I said, I think it just depends on time of year, number one, and it just depends on the amount of work and things like that that they have, especially with COVID going on right now too. They were actually closed for a while, so I'm sure they got really backed up during that. Um, so it might even be slower at this point due to all that. But once again, though, if you're just patient and wait, you get some really amazing deals. So like this Ghost Rider right here is actually one of my books. Um, the one difference is that I, when they sent this to me, I said I really like it, but I wanted a, a picture of Ghost Rider uh, down here and like a, like a character down here in the corner which they did add later on and you guys can actually see that in my overviews of the books that i did that i actually do have a ghost writer down here that they did add but that's actually one of my books um that i had them do for me it's actually my second bind ever was ghost writer and then let me see if i can find my first ever bind and as i scroll through here you guys can see all the designs and things they did so they've also done some really amazing hellblazer designs for people oh this is another one of my books hellstorm uh, this is one I got done by them. Uh, it was about a year, year and a half ago now that they did for me. And that's my Hellstorm book that they designed. Ah, oh, Hitman. Such a fun book. I'm so glad I got those custom bound as well. Those ones are not mine, by the way. Mine, mine were different, but uh, I do love them. Masters of the Universe, they did such an amazing job designing these. Um, this one's actually different than the one... I actually had a different bind that they did. Um, and then I sold the customs because I wanted the official. But uh, they've done a couple of the Masters ones that looked really gorgeous. Um, they've do, done, done... I feel like they've done a lot of Micronauts and ROM. That seems to be a very popular... Uh, a very popular one is, is that one. Uh, this new mutants one, I believe Tim actually recently just designed this, if I remember correctly. Um, so for those that are, don't know, you can actually join the Unbound Omnibus Facebook group. And uh, it's a really awesome community of people that just love custom binds. But also, Tim Benson's in there, so he's always you know answering questions and things for people, because obviously he has a lot of experience in that. Plus, he kind of shows off his stuff, and he asks questions like, what do you guys think of this, or how does this look? or you know. So it's a really great interactive community of people. So if you are interested, I do strongly recommend joining it if you haven't already. Uh, so here's a couple different Spectre books, but these ones right here are mine. So these are the very first binds I ever got done. Um, and they came up with the design on everything. The only thing I did was I asked David specifically for the spines to be connecting. And then I said, this is the image. I think it's from cover. Oh God. Issue 36. Maybe I think is what it was. I can't remember off the top of my head now, but I really love that cover. And I thought it would make an awesome connecting spine. And it did. It truly, truly did. Um, but the rest of it, all the design and stuff, they did everything else. Um, so and like I said, they're a really good group of guys. If you guys are local to me, um, I'm in Omaha, Nebraska. So if you are in the Omaha, Nebraska area uh, and you get a chance to actually, or you go to you know Planet Comic Con, usually David and Tim are at Planet Comic Con every year as well. They're a great group of guys that just to kind of hang out and talk to and, and speak with. They're, they're super awesome and they're a lot of fun. Um, 
and they're they're always down to talk custom binds. It, it's their passion, and they do uh, amazing work, as you guys can see with the designs. Here's the, these swamp things right here. These ones are actually mine as well. Um, I got these ones done at the same time that I got um, uh, my Hellstorm ones done. And for the Swamp Thing, they designed the spines. I didn't really have any say. I was like, no, that looks great. I really like the spines. Um, I did send them the pictures, though, that I wanted used for each volume. And I said, can you utilize these pictures? This is what I wanted done. And they did. They were like, yeah, no problem. Here you go. And they, they designed it and threw them up, and it was great. So... Um, but yeah, as you guys can see here, they do some really, really nice, amazing stuff and they've done tons and tons and tons of books as you can see. Um, and they do try to make every book unique as you can see, like there's a lot of like specters in there that, but every single one looked different. There was a lot of swamp things, but again, every single one of them looked different. So they do try to make everything unique, uh, to each individual. Uh, you can obviously, I have several times, you can give your input and say what it is that you would like your designs to look like, and they're more than happy to work with you. Um, they've done some really amazing, I don't know if that's, oh, they didn't have it right there. They've done some uh, really amazing stuff for Six Gun. I don't know if it's ever going to get released. It's kind of like a curation thing, but it looked just absolutely incredible. Uh, David actually gave me a tour of his office once a few years ago and kind of showed me everything, and it it was just an incredible experience to kind of see like the background of how it all works and things. It, it, was, it was really, really neat. Um, so on their website, though, how much does it cost? That's what it's all going to boil down to, right? That's what everybody kind of wants to know. What is it going to run me if I go through Omaha Bound? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, so again, just like Heroes Rebound, the typical custom bind runs 65 to 85, depending on your options. Um, but Again, just like Heroes Rebound for $75, Omaha Bound also offers a $75 special. Um, but that's, again, you're trusting them to come up with a design. They have free reign, free, you know, they make all of the design choices. And they are going to come up with some really unique and include really nice things like bookmark ribbons, which I am a huge fan of. Uh, if you guys watch our channel, you guys have probably heard me say that a million times. Uh, they do colored in sheets instead of just the white in sheets. Um, they'll do heads and tail bands, which is great. Um, and they do a lot of really cool stuff. So if you trust them and you just want them to give you just a really amazing graphic cover book, 75 bucks, there you go. Um, now they also will do all the prep work as you can see here. Um, the, for the $12, um, they will review the comics or trade paperbacks. They will remove staples, back covers, double ads, all that fun stuff. Um, this, this for the, just the strictly the binding. Now this is sort of, if you do all a cart, this is if you don't go the $75 route, mind you. Um, this is all a cart. So, uh, the binding itself is a DFA glued binding. They do, and they go through Haushin. So Haushin is actually the company that does the physical binding of the book, uh, but they do all the design, all the prep work, everything else. Um, so this is what it all costs if you kind of like, again, do the a la carte. And then they also will do dust jackets where they will print, design, etc. dust jackets. Um, and... Uh, Haushin, I believe, is probably... I don't know if they use Haushin for printed dust jackets or not. That's where I go through when I get my dust jackets printed. And they've always turned out amazing. I really like the quality of their dust jackets. Uh, they're really solid. I'd, um, I'd assume that theirs are... That they probably utilize Haushin or something similar. But... So that's kind of how their company works. And like I said, again, they are an all-in-one company. There's been several times, how, th those might even be my my Swamp Thing trade paperbacks <laughs> that, I, that I sent them. Um, they, they do a really um, awesome thing where, again, I didn't know what I was doing in the beginning. I didn't know how to prep things. I didn't do know how to do any of that stuff. I didn't know how to remove back covers or things without messing things up. And I was very nervous about it. So I would literally, you guys would mail them in unless you're local in Omaha, but I would literally just walk into David's office or Tim who actually lives by my office would come to my office and I would just hand him, here you go. And he would go off and do his thing. Um, I've also just bought books from them that they've bound and was in their personal collections or just books that they had that they were just selling. Um, and again, I've always had really amazing interactions with them because I just literally, I meet up with Tim somewhere because we're local to each other. 
we exchange and it's great. So, you know, um, but they do a really, really amazing job. So if you want graphic covers, these are going to be the two companies that you want to really kind of look at, which is Heroes Rebound, Omaha Bound. And then you can also look at what I'm going to cover next, which is actually going to be Haushin directly. Um, so let's dive into that one. All right, so this is Haushin Bindery at HaushinBindery.com. Now, this is going to be more for those do-it-yourselfer types that want to create everything and do everything on their own, um, unless they do cloth books. But it, like I said, normally they will do some designing and stuff for you here, but normally with the price, they charge $30 to design covers and things like that. Which normally, if you're going to go that route, you're usually going to hire somebody like Omaha Bound, or you're going to hire somebody, um, you know, third party, what have you. Um, so, first of all, they do say that the maximum amount of comics in any volume is 25. Now, that is a loose 25. Um, we, I've definitely done more. I've seen some other people that do more. Their preferred binding method is DFAB, uh, which is double adhesive fan... Um, binding and so it's a glued binding and that is their preferred method now the only way that dfab does not work is if you have a lot of glossy books or uh, those foil covers then you would have to utilize either pure or an over sewn binding because you can't do uh, dfab because the glue just runs but their preferred method is dfab which is that glued binding now you they will remove staples for you but what they will not do is they will not remove back covers double-sided ads, etc. So if you want all those in there, that's fine. Just send them to them and they'll do whatever. But otherwise, you need to remove all that stuff prior to sending it to them because if you don't, they're going to get bound in and it's going to make your book a lot thicker than it needs to be and it could potentially just not look as pretty. Um, so other than that, the other methods they have, are, like I said before, are pure or polyurethane reactive adhesive binding. Those are going to be more for the glossy books, things like that, that work well. Oversewn binding, which is a method that I really love, um, does have a little bit of gutter loss in there, uh, but I think it's it, it looks classy. It's the old classic way of doing things. I love the eye holes and things like that that it creates. It fits all the different types of paper and things like that because it's a sewn. It's not glue. Um, so I personally am a fan of sewn binding, but I also do own a lot of defabs, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So uh, I don't want to knock defab at all because I own a lot of those as well. I just really like sewn bindings. Um, they also offer Smith sewn bindings. Now, those ones are where they sew it right through the fold, right through those signatures there. They're going to sew that. Now, for that one, they do have a firm 25 issues. They actually prefer 18, uh, but they will do a firm 25. Now, that one you cannot go above if you do Smith sewn. Otherwise, you can go above and beyond 25 a little bit. Uh, there's a little bit of, little bit of wiggle room there uh, for some of the other ones. Now, the other options they have are rounding versus... Uh, flat and you guys have noticed probably on some of the newer marvel omnis like the wolverine official omnibus for instance it has that hard flat spine um so for me i personally like the rounding of the book because not only does it help it lay open and flat but it also just looks nicer to me um the only way that i ever do the flat hard spines is if i do graphic covers because for whatever reason i think graphic covers just look better uh with that hard flat spine um, but if I'm going to do like a buckram cloth or an Aristox or something like that, in those situations, I am going to get them rounded because then I'm going to get the trade paperback or the, not the trade paperbacks. I'm going to get the dust jackets and then I'm going to put the dust jackets around them. And I think it just wraps a little bit nicer as well when they are rounded. Um, so the only thing that cannot be rounded is obviously going to be the pure books. Those ones are going to have that hard flat spine. But other than that, I personally prefer rounded, unless, like I said, it's a graphic cover. Trimming, I will always prefer trimming to my books because, one, it looks nice and neat. Look how much nicer that looks compared to this. Um, I think that, and once again, this is all personal preference. Some people might prefer uh, the original uh, offshoot of the paper where things might be a little bit jagged or whatever because the different comics are cut at different sizes or what have you. Some people might actually prefer that. I personally prefer the trim though. That once again, preferred methods, uh, ribbon bookmarks, headbands, tailbands. Now the other thing about tailbands is if you see here, 
Some people start to freak out when these kind of start to peel off and they think that their book is falling apart. Please know that that is not the case. What this is is actually just a decorative ribbon. That's all it is. It's for decoration only. A lot of people that I know don't even utilize head and tail bands uh, when they do custom binds. They just don't add them on. I like to add them onto my binds because I think it just makes them look a little bit classier um, and a little bit more elegant, which is something I really dig. But again, if that does start to peel off, you can fix it with just a little bit of PVA glue. Uh, but there's a lot of people, especially newer collectors, that start to freak out and think that their binding is falling apart, even on official releases. That is not the case. Don't panic. It's not the end of the world, I promise you. Um, they can also do custom in sheets and things like that. Uh, I've either always done either the off-white or the black in sheets. I've never done you know, anything fancy. Uh, I have seen some that are done. They're fancy and trust me, they look gorgeous, but I personally have never done those. Um, cloth or graphic cover again, it's all about customization. And that's the thing I love about custom binds is that the customization is all up to you. It is entirely up to you, whether you want to do cloth or graphic for me, cost wise, I prefer cloth because I am not a designer. Now, if I was a designer, and I could design my own stuff and not have to pay somebody to design it, maybe I'd go more graphic. But because of the fact that I'm not a designer and I would have to hire somebody to do a lot of the designing and those graphics and things for me, I like cloth just due to the fact that, well, one, a lot of the stuff I've bought lately is cloth, but two, because I'm going to be doing um, a lot of binds this year and just monetarily, I can't afford the $65, $75 binds when I can get everything I want for $35. You know what I mean? So once again, it's strictly a monetary thing for me. Plus, you can make those cloth binds look really classy, which I'll actually show you guys coming up with Herring and Robinson. Um, so here are some of the co uh, color cloth options, the, the color cloth options uh, that they do have available and things like that. Um, so they do have a lot of different selections and things for colors that you can do, which is really nice. They also offer the foil lettering, um, which is great for the spine when you do those cloth covers. They also offer die stamps. Now, if you look at the die stamp selection here, the die stamp selection isn't uh, that big. It's actually kind of small. Now, this is as of March 1st, 2015, so that's five years ago. So the chances that they have other dies that you can utilize, probably pretty big chance. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not on their website, so you don't know unless you ask. Uh, but here are some of the different dies that they do have available that you can utilize on your books. Whether you put them on the front cover, whether you put them on the spine, there they are. And they tell you the sizes and say whether or not it's spine or whether or not it'd be something that would go on the front cover or the back cover, I guess, whichever. Um, and again, and maybe they'll have some other stuff that you might be interested in that's not shown here. It's just they haven't updated the website, uh, which is another thing that I'll say I wish Haushin would kind of update some stuff just because it seems a little dated and I think it would just be a little bit nicer, especially because custom binding is becoming so big. I think it would be great for newer people coming in that not really sure what they're doing or have more questions or really kind of want to dive in to not have to look and click around on things and just be able to you know, find those easily. But that's beside the point. Um, so graphic covers. So here's some of the options that they can do. Obviously, like I said, you can do your own. Uh, they'll give you the PDF. Oh, they'll give you the dimensions. You give them the PDF file of the design that you want. They'll laminate it, print it, stick it onto the book. It'll look gorgeous. Now they will not give you updates, um, throughout the process. They try to do an eight week turnaround time, except for the summer. It does get longer due to all the textbooks and college classes and things like that, that they're doing. Um, but they don't provide updates. And to me personally, I find that to be a bummer, but at the same time, they probably have so many orders, they can't do that because they'd just be doing that all day long. So I don't blame them by any stretch of the imagination. Again, just as a customer, it is something that I wish that they would do is something that I personally as a customer would like to see. Um, so there you have it. That is a uh, Haushin bindery kind of sort of in a nutshell. Actually, before we go on, let me show you guys their their pricing and whatnot. So that way you guys can see um, the different options and things that they do have for the pricing. Point 
pulling up here. All right, so here we go. The pricing. Basic graphic cover binding is $25. That is if you design your own, okay? Otherwise, if uh, for just a simple cover like this, it is $20. Um, if you do want to do um, more of these types of designs, they can design something for you, and it's going to be an extra $35. But again, if you're going to pay that, a lot of people are hiring third party, whether it be Omaha Bound or any you know a third party person. Um, you can also do the base cloth, basic cloth binding at twenty three fifty a volume, so about a dollar fifty less. Um, both the, whether you do graphic cover or cloth, it is a minimum order of two books. I believe Omaha Bound has a minimum of three books that you have to do, um, but they do have a minimum order of two through Haushin directly, um, which it's not a bad thing. But at the same time, when you're only trying to maybe needing one book done, I guess it can be a little frustrating. But hey. It's getting two books. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then here's all the different prices and things like that that they do offer. Now, I do the dust jacket printing. Like I said, it's $15 uh, for how to print your dust jacket on really nice laminate paper. Like it comes, it's like a legit dust jacket like you would find on an official release. Um, so it's $15 to print the dust jacket. And I want to say for me, because I'm close, it's like $7 to, to ship it. I don't know if it's the same for everyone or if it's just because I'm that much closer. But So they do offer a lot of great deals. So that is Haushin Bindery Direct in a nutshell. So now let's move on to Herring and Robinson. All right, so here we are with Herring and Robinson Bookbinders at herringandrobinsonbookbinders.com. Now they are located in Brisbane, California and they have some impeccable customer service. I actually just sent in about four volumes of books to get bound by them a couple days ago, and uh, the gentleman that I always end up speaking with, his name is Jim, and he just has a great customer service. I sent him an email, I said, hey Jim, I just sent you a bunch of books, here's a tracking number in case you need it. He emailed me back right away, said, hey, thank you, I'm gonna reach out to you when these books come in. Sure enough, they arrived on Saturday. He emailed me Saturday morning saying, hey, we got your order in. We'll let you know when they're done. Great. Last time I dealt with them, uh, I had to call in. I had to call them to pay for my order. And when I called them to give my credit card number, he answered the phone. He said, "Hey, Matt, how's it going?" I was like, "Oh, uh, great, Jim. <laughs> like, just really awesome customer service. Really nice guys. I really like dealing with Herring and Robinson directly. They have been around for a hundred years now. So this is a company that is not going anywhere. They are very well known in the custom bind industry. Um, Herring and Robinson and Hauschen are probably the two biggest binderies in the U.S." Um, that people really go to for their custom binds. Now, the other nice thing um, about Herring and Robinson is they have a really large die stamp collection. So let me actually pull that up here and we can show you guys the different die stamps and things that they offer compared to what um, Haushin had here. Let me just find their, there it is, custom stamp die. So this is their selection that they have available that you can choose. And like I said, they have quite the selection. So here's all the different die stamps that you can choose to have done on your books. I'm actually getting this one done. This is America's Best Comics. I'm actually getting that one done on my Tom Strong bind that's with them right now. But they have everything that you could imagine that you can utilize for a small fee, which is great. Um, so whoever originally paid to have these custom dies created, I'm sure it's probably a multitude of people, but hats off to you folks. I greatly appreciate you doing that so the rest of us could use these because that is really, really awesome. So they, like I said, they have a much larger selection, which is really nice. And those custom dies can make your book look really classy. Like so, this is an old Valiant book. With that's the old Valiant logo from the 90s. And they got it done on the spine. And then they also got it done on the front cover. And it just looks gorgeous. I think that looks really amazing. I also love the way these look. I think these look super classy with the panel lines. I never get panel lines done on my books. I don't know why because I think like I always look at them and go, oh, those look really classy. But I never get them done. Don't ask me why. But as the double panel lines, the single panel lines, they do look really nice. I did get the S stamp, though, on my Superboy volumes that I'm getting done. So it's my Superboys actually look very similar to this, minus the panel lines and, and whatnot. But similar to this design is what I did for the for the Superboy books. Um, and then here's some really nice classy X-Men ones that they did. And Swamp Thing, Catwoman, the eyes for image. I really like that design. I think that looks really nice, too. So really awesome. Just some examples of books that they've done. So 
So here are their prices. Uh, so their prices are actually $22.50 a book. Uh, so it's actually a dollar less than what Haushan offers. Now, the nice thing is, is they don't tell you, oh, it's up to 25 books, give or take. They actually tell you that it's up to two and a half inches thick, which normally Haushan tries to stay right around the two inch range. Herring and Robinson will do up to two and a half inches thick, which is awesome awesome because my tom strong book for instance is 36 issues once i removed double ads and the back cover it and i measured it it came in like at two and a quarter inches a little over two and a quarter inches and i was like yes i can bind these all into one volume so i'm super excited about that otherwise i felt like the binds would have been kind of small they've been like little two little thin ones um so i'm very happy about that that they do up to two and a half inches thick i think that's really awesome um, they do say their completion within six to eight weeks. And so far they have not let me down. Um, I've gotten a handful of books done by them and every time, I mean, now they're kind of in the busy season and I'm sure they have some backup due to COVID. But, um, other than that, their completion time has always been right around six to eight weeks. So that is really awesome. Plus they offer rush order fees where if you pay an extra $10, you can get your book back in like two weeks. And I did that once because I thought I was going to need a book in time for a, a con that Mike and I were going to be going to and then COVID struck. Uh, but I went ahead and paid for it thinking we were going to be going to this con. And sure enough, I had the book back in time. I paid the extra 10 bucks and they had it done and it looked gorgeous. Um, so they've really, really solid. Now, they their preferred method is going to be the oversewn method. Um, I, from what I understand, they can do glued bindings if, if that is what you prefer. But for them, their preferred method is going to be that oversewn binding. They will do hand sewn for an extra twenty dollars. Now, Smith sewn and hand sewn are different in the in the way that like the method is done. Uh, they are both sewn through the fold of the book. Um, but one is obviously hand sewn. Smith sewn isn't quite the same as hand sewn. I believe they use a machine for that. But uh, for hand sew, their maximum thickness is one and a half inches, which is exactly sort of what uh, Haushan was saying, which is like 18 issues or what have you. So um, those ones do require a little bit extra. Um, like I said, I've never done hand sewn. I'm sure they lay much flatter and a lot nicer, but I'm okay. You can use the machine on my books. Let's over sew them and get it done. I think it looks great. Um, for die imprinting, it was $8 at Haushan. It is actually $6 per impression at uh, Herring and Robinson. So that's really nice too. Uh, ribbon bookmarks, I believe, run about the same, maybe 50 cents less here compared to um, Haushan. Uh, headbands, I believe, are about the same. Front cover lettering, things like that, are, I believe, are about the same. Decorative panel lines, all that stuff runs approximately the same as Haushan. So they're pretty they're pretty much the same as far as that goes. Now, if you go into their color charts, here's the different options that they do have available to you. They have the Aristox cover material, which is a lighter cotton. Or they have the Buckram, which is the tried and true one that a lot of people utilize. And that one's a much thicker, heavier cotton uh, that they do. They also do the bonded leather, the imitation leather. And then the, here are their options for their headbands and tailbands. Um, so you can either get the two mixed colors, which will really look nice, or you can get just the one solid colors as well. So those are their options for those. Um, I believe their ribbons, uh, ribbon bookmarks all run, like all of their single colors. I believe they have the exact same colors for their ribbon bookmarks as well. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be their... They're them in a nutshell. And like I said, really great, awesome customer service. Uh, I've had nothing but pleasant, pleasant interactions with these guys. And uh, like I said, I actually have four volumes right now that they're working on for me that I'll be getting back in hopefully the next, you know, eight weeks or so, which I'm, I'm pretty excited about. So there you guys have it in a nutshell. So I promise you guys I would actually show you some books that I have that have actually been done by each of these people. Uh, Heroes Rebound, Herring and Robinson, Haushan, and Omaha Bound. So let me go ahead and flip over the camera to that and we'll show you guys some actual books that I've gotten done. All right, guys. So as I promised, I'm going to show you guys uh, a book from each of these four companies that we discussed um, to kind of show you guys the work and the quality of things that I got done. Now, this is actually a book that I purchased from another seller um, that uh, was downsizing their collection, but this one was actually bound. Uh, it's just a straight D fab um, buckram cloth bind by Haushan Bindery. So nothing fancy, no stamps or dies, just some panel lines and some standard writing. Um, they did upgrade, though, to the black end papers. And then what they did here was they actually bound 
the Nightfall trade paperbacks. So they did trim the pages and everything, but they just bound those. Uh, now they do not have the headbands and tailbands, as you can see there. It's just plain. There's nothing there. But it does lay really nice and flat. Wonderful, wonderful done. Very well built. Um, I don't have any issues with it. I think it looks great as is. I am going to get some awesome dust jackets made, though. Um, and this also has the flat spine, not the rounded spine, as you can see. Next up on the list, I do have my Herring and Robinson Superboy Volume 1. Uh, this is one that I just recently got done. Uh, this is actually the one that I had the two-week rushing order on, actually, that they did for me. I did get the S um, imprint there. Of course, the ribbon bookmark. Come on. And uh, then I also have the headbands and tailbands there. Now, as you guys can see, it lays really well. This is, like I said, the over-sewn binding method that they do prefer on to do on their books. Um, I just went with the standard white end sheets, and it lays great. I have zero issues with it. Um, now, there is a little bit of gutter loss in there. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys that. You can kind of see just this teeny bit of gutter loss, but it's nothing bad at all. I wouldn't complain. This is actually a pretty thick book for a custom bind as well. Um, I want to say it's pushing right around two issues or uh, two inches, um, maybe slightly over two inches. But uh, yeah, overall, great, great, great book. Love it to death. Next up on the list, I have um, an example from Omaha Bound. Uh, this is actually one of the swamp things that I kind of discussed earlier. Once again, flat spine, which I said I do like the flat spines as far as graphic covers go. So, and this is obviously a graphic cover. Um, so here we go. Swamp Thing custom bind. Again, headbands and tailbands and the ribbon bookmark because you know how I do. Now these ones I actually bound with the Swamp Thing trade paperbacks. So what I did on this one, I didn't do a damn thing to be honest. I literally handed Tim um, all six trade paperbacks. I said, here you go. And he did all the prep work and everything else. I figured if, you know, I'm going to pay an extra premium for that, I'm going to let them do it. And he, they did, and they didn't complain or anything. That's part of what they do. But um, excellently done. Once again, DFAB. Not really any gutter loss at all in there. And again, it lays perfectly flat it lays really 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 nicely so that is an example of omaha bound and what they do like i said i sent them the pictures that i wanted for the fronts and backs of these they designed the spines um and we went through their website you guys saw all the other stuff that they've designed over the years too they do really great stuff and then last but not least i have um an example of uh Heroes Rebound, which is the new God's book. Now, this is actually the, the prototype one that was done um, that anybody can order and have your book like mine. Um, but, uh, yeah, I got a good price on it, though. Um, once again, flat spine, headbands and tailbands, ribbon bookmark. Pages are nice and trimmed, so there's no, you know, anything jutting out. This is actually probably one of the most gorgeous books I've seen them do. Um, I just love this. I thought this was a really, really nice touch. The inside um, art on the cover board mixed in with the end page. I thought just, oh, God, they did such a good job designing this book. I was very, very impressed by it. Um, I also obviously love that Scooby-Doo, but there's that one. And then they also have the title page that they designed. And once again, anybody can order the same exact book and have one just like this. This is actually the new God second series. So this is actually the one that after that was written in the late eighties after Kirby and uh, it's good stuff, really great stuff. But there's just a really nice example of uh, what heroes rebound can do for you. 
So there you folks have it. There's like the four major companies slash binderies and all the work and what they offer and their price points and things like that. So hopefully uh, this video helped you. I know it's long and uh, if you stuck around this long, hey, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys got some sort of valuable information out of this. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, the power is yours.